Good afternoon, everybody. Um, forgive my summer attire, but we've got bright sunshine here today, so I'm going to enjoy every minute of it. And by the way, these crogs have got steel toe caps, so you can forgive me for wearing them. The question that I've been asked and the question that I'm going to address now is, what is the difference between an LXB engine, a 6LXB, and a 6LX? Um, first, a little bit of history. You'll understand that the LX engine uh, replaced the LW engine. 6LX and 6LW have exactly the same footprint, but the 6LX uh, delivers 150 brake horsepower at 1700 RPM, whereas the LW only gives you in or about 100 horsepower at 1500 RPM. So Gardner were constantly trying to squeeze more and more power out of the engines in order to meet user requirements for heavier loads and motorways and all sorts of things. Now, the LXB delivers 180 brake horsepower at 1850 RPM. They were able to do this by tweaking the injector pump and by tweaking the injectors. An LX injector looks exactly the same as an LXB, but it's got a different spray formation because of the holes in the end here. I'm not too sure you can make this out, but they're stamped there on the nozzle. That's an LX. LXB is stamped LXB. If you were to look at the two engines, uh, we've one here and we've one here, you can't tell with a cursory look, or you might not be able to tell by a cursory look um, if it's LX or LXB. But I'm going to give you some pointers. First of all, if the head on the engine has got these square corners here, that's an immediate giveaway. You see this square corner? Absolutely clear. If it's got those square corners, it's LXB. End of story. End of argument. If it's got these plain valves here. You see the valves here are plain, they're not threaded. You'll notice the inlet valve is threaded, but the exhaust valve is plain. If it's got a plain exhaust valve, it's LXB. Again, end of story. But it could be LXB and have a threaded exhaust valve. It doesn't happen that often, but it does happen. You can get LXB engines and the exhaust valve is threaded. So you need to be aware of that. Another giveaway is this extra stud here. It's a 3th BSF stud here on the end of the head. If it does not have that stud, it's LX. Okay. Now you will get LX engines with the stud. So again, you need to be careful of that. If it doesn't have the stud, it's LX. End of story. Now, another val another uh, difference. Um, we've just made it to pause here a minute. Here we've got an exhaust valve, an LXB exhaust valve. Now, part of the change that Gardner had to make in the LXB is they changed this angle here. You see this angle here on the valve? In the LX engines and the LW engines, that angle was 45 degrees. In the LXB engines, it's 30 degrees. So if you are in the for fortunate position where you just happen to have the valves out of the engine that you're um, looking at, you can look at this angle here. If it's 30 degrees, it's LXB. But if you don't have the valves out, it's a big job to take the engine apart uh, to try and establish if it's LX or LXB. Here we'll take a look at this engine. Now I know that this engine is LXB because we've had this engine apart and I know its history. And you'll see that the exhaust valve is threaded. Okay, so <clears throat> that's um, 
not very helpful. It's still an LXB en engine, but it's got third exhaust valves. I have done out this uh, <coughs> this flow chart here, and it's on the website, and I'll I'll uh, I'll give you a link to it whenever we finish towards the end. So that's as much as I can tell you. If it's square corners on here, it's LXB. If it does not have this extra stud here, it's LX. Otherwise, you're down to dismantling the engine. In a marine environment, of course, it doesn't really matter because in a marine environment, both engines are rated at 127 usually at 1500 RPM. So really, in a marine environment, the two engines are identical. But where they're not identical is, <coughs> or where you have a problem, you can't get LX valves anymore. They're just not available. You can't get LX injectors. You can't get LX heads. Not only that, but you can't use LX heads as an exchange for LXB heads. The same thing applies to the injectors. You can't use LX injectors and send them off and get LXB injectors back. Well, you, you can do, but you, you'll pay a penalty for that. Okay. We'll now go and we look at an engine where somebody has been a bit naughty. Yep. Okay, here we have an engine where somebody has been um, a wee bit naughty. We're not too sure about this engine. If you took a look at the end of the block here, you'll see that it does not have the 316 stud that I told you about earlier. But if you take a look at the block at this end, there's your stud, which leads us to believe that this could be an LXB engine. Now we have bought this engine on the understanding that it was LXB, but the thing gets further confused because if we take a look at the exhaust valve here, I hope you can pick that up, you'll see that it's threaded. Maybe some of the other ones back here might be, might be from here, look if you come in here, you see that? The exhaust valve is threaded. So, on this engine here, we're undecided, we don't know. Uh, but as I said, we bought this engine on the understanding that it's, that it's LXB. LX engines are fine, lovely engines, run grand, but parts for them now are a challenge. Okay, I hope I've helped you with that. You'll see the flowchart at the end.